<laughs> Hello, guys. You're definitely saying this is the worst ballerina dancer in the world. Don't be so harsh, guys, because you're going to be blowing all the effort that I did during the past three years. Take a look. That was my first one like stand. I was really proud of myself. And that was my first bridge. It was upside down, but uh, who cares? And I will never forget my first grand écart. Because sometimes I can still feel the pain. <laughs> and to top it off, that was my first on-stage moment. Take a look. I know, perhaps after saying all of that, you would say, this man is still bad. Well, I don't care, because today, I'm not going to be talking about ballerina dancing. And as you're seeing me behind, grabbing my Yaweli Shubhabak boxing belt, you would say, this man is a boxing, is a boxing champ. And he's going to be talking about his boxing skills. It's not that either. Today, it's not going to be about me karate mastering or even arm wrestling. So, what is it all about? In fact, today I'm going to be talking about my job. A job where I have the opportunity to be all of that. A ballerina dancer, a boxer, a karate master, an arm wrestler. At work, I can be a, a pilot one day, and the pilot, the other one. There, I can be a soldier during weekdays and be a singer during weekends night. You know, on Mondays, I have black, cute, curly hair. On Wednesdays, I have a more blondy style and be a redhead on Fridays. You know, at my work, we do activities together because we share moments of craziness and laughter where boys and girls can have mustache. They can put their glasses sideways, or even their hats upside down. And as I said, we do activities together. We go to the beach during summer, and we play football games during the World Cup season. So most probably now you're saying, this man should be a birthday animator or a clown, or maybe a stand-up comedian. Well, in fact, I've worked all of that before graduating as a part-time job. But today, guess what? I'm a dentist, a pediatric dentist. And I take care of your children's teeth from the age of zero till 16. And all the shows and acts that you've seen I've done them under one roof, on one stage, my pediatric clinic. It is weird, isn't it? Because we all have in mind a different perception about the dentist. Because we can all agree that our dental experience could be not a one to remember. So imagine that for a three, four, or a five-year-old kid. Yelling, shouting, crying, they will be there, they will do their best to avoid the dental visit. Based on that, and knowing then that in Lebanon, we have our two biggest sponsors, Teta and Jeddo, it is not by coincidence that the World Health Organization classified Lebanon in 2003 among six countries in the world, yes, only six countries in the world having the highest cavity index with mean of 4.4. As you can see, the countries in red on the map. What does that mean? It means that every child you knew back then had, in average, 
four to five cavities in the mouth on the permanent teeth. Remember, guys, this article was published in 2003. So most probably, this research was done on you guys. <laughs> you know, facts and numbers that we should not be so proud of. But we've learned to be positive. And look how this senior year dental student had a complete other approach. Even though this glass was more than half empty, he could see the filled part of it. You know, being passionate to work with kids back then and seeing Lebanon in red was for me a huge opportunity. I'm going to have work. And work means money. I'm going to be rich. Yeah, two facts. I'm not rich yet. The other, you know, that was not what really had my attention. In that same article, two sentences. I'm going to share it with you guys because it concerns all of us. For the countries in red, they mentioned that kids and adults lack awareness and knowledge concerning dental and oral hygiene. And second, unfortunately, the pediatric dental experience does not meet kids' expectations and needs. That was for me a motivation, a challenge, a challenge to change. <laughs> but, you know, That was, for me, a challenge to change. But, um, you know, sometimes we imagine, we have in mind a different image, a different perception about this medical visit. But sometimes we can have another experience as every child could have. جديد مرحبا عليه بخدمته الجديدة شو حلو سنوني شو حلو واحد اثنين ثلاثة وشو حلو سنوني شو حلو هالدرس شوفوا ما أجمله بس أنا عبالي ما ضيفوا وحياتي ما حدا بيسوي سو شو حلو سنوني شو حلو And apart from singing, we do magical tricks. <laughs> Just a moment, guys. Almost done. <laughs> Don't go away. <laughs> One minute. Almost done. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> After all, you would say, Spending all that energy, all that budget, to save baby teeth, is it really worth it? Eventually, they're going to fall. And new ones, permanent ones, are going to come out. So why do we, as pediatric dentists, do all of that? Eventually, you should know that baby teeth are very important. Because kids, at this young age, use their teeth to learn the basic functions of eating, chewing, swallowing, spelling and talking, and even breathing. And guys, you should know that baby teeth are even more important than that. In fact, a recent study published in Finland, early May 2019, showed 
that children with evidence of oral infections and gum bleeding were most probably at a high risk of developing severe heart problem during adulthood. This is how important baby teeth are. And this is why pediatric dentistry for, for us is not only a work, it's a mission. We're here to save baby teeth, but also we are here to save lives. After all, you will say, what's the target of my presentation? What is the point? Am I here to show you how important, how fun is my work, and to make you guys a little bit more jealous? <laughs> well, that's part of it. You can be jealous, but that was not my first reason. This presentation is to show you that it is possible to be a very professional person with a clear medical mission while taking things a little bit more differently, a little bit more fun, like I did. That depends on the personality of each one of us. Because after all, it is not necessary to have this super clean, super white, sitting behind the desk, medical perception to have and reach our targets. But instead, let's try to break the mold. Thank you.